priming a pump on an Acta, what we're doing is we're basically sucking a little bit of liquid out from these pumps that control the flow through the system. And we do that in order to remove any air that is in those pumps that we don't want getting onto our column or preventing the liquid from getting onto our column. So in an Acta, you have these pumps and so you have your system pumps as well as you might have a sample pump. And so in our case, we have these two system pumps and each of the pumps has a pump head. And so one of them's gonna be pulling while the other's pushing and things like that. And both of these have these kind of things on the outside where you can stick a tube in that's attached to a syringe or you can just stick a syringe directly. And what you do is if you turn these to the left, you can then pull through liquid and that helps get rid of any air that is in the pumps. You always want to do it with both sides of the, both heads. So like the right and the left head. You don't want to pull out too fast. Just a nice flow and then close it back up. So you can do it either with the tubing or you can just go directly in here and with the syringe but you want to have a bigger syringe probably but you just want to go fill it a little, little it's especially important to do this if you see that you have any air bubbles in your line and so that'll help um get rid of the air from the system so you never want air to be in these clear tubes the ones that are actually going into your liquids like going into your like your A1 line and your A2 line, those sorts of things. And note too that this, the pump heads are labeled like 1A1 and 1A2, but that's just the two pump heads. Those are all both, those are both going to the A1 line, which is the only A line that we currently have. And so, but you always wanna prime the lines and so that primes the line and it primes the pump. And you don't want there to be air bubbles in these lines. These lines go and they do the, it go into this tube and so this tube is 20% ethanol and so you want to replace it. They say like once a week or so if you're using it a lot, uh, but every couple weeks at least. And so those go in these tubes so they have this kind of like more rubbery tubing that go and they clean out the back of the pumps. And so there, it's okay if there's a couple bubbles in here, but you don't want there to be a lot of bubbles. What can happen if there's a lot of bubbles is that it might be that this tubing that is in these 20% ethanol tubes isn't all the way down. And so if it's not all the way down, you'll get air in there. What you might need to do is actually go and come in with your tube that's attached to your syringe and actually go and pull liquid through it like this. And that'll help get the air that's out, that's stuck in here you'll get that out and you just want to make sure to check that the lines are all the way down when you do a pump wash you should then be able to see that liquid is flowing through these tubes and if it's not you might need to go check and make sure that the lines are in the ethanol that the ethanol is filled and that you pull out any air if you need to pull out air similarly if you're using the sample pump it also has a tube of the 20% ethanol. It also has the two pump heads. And what happens with here though, is so you want to prime your heads like this, just like you would with your other pump. But when you have your, when you do the sample line and you have it in your sample, and then this one, so this one's an air pressure monitor, so that it'll suck up your sample until it senses that there's air, so if you, one, you can have it do a set volume or you can have it just go until there's air. And what it'll do then is the line itself is actually going to get dry. And so then you're going to want to come through and you're going to want to pull out through the line before you do something like a pump wash for that line. Those are the a couple of general maintenance things for, for using your Acta and that's kind of like a more frequent thing like after a, every run or before your runs you're going to be priming your pumps. So they, you might see that 
for like purging the pumps, purging the air out of it, it's really important to prevent there from being air in the system. If there is air in the system, it can damage the system and then it also can, sometimes you'll see that if you look on your, look on your screen and so you're gonna right click and then you go to filter curves, you can see these different options. If you go and you click on the system pressure, you should see this pressure and you might see weird things going on with the pressure if there is air in the system. And you should see weird things in the lines if there's air in the system. And so you don't want those weird things to happen in your lines. <laughs> okay, Alice is now going to demonstrate priming the pump for us. And so she's gonna stick that tubing directly into that black port. She's going to turn it to the left and she's going to gently pull out. And you can see that the liquid's flowing nicely. Fabulous. She'll now twist that back to the right, tighten that up, go into the other pump head. Turn that one to the left. Pull out there. Fabulous. Close that back up. Pull that out, and voila, now you can just kind of squirt that into the waste. Yay! Fabulous. Thank you, Alice. <laughs>